What's up guys, welcome to Rotor Riot. My name is Alex, I'm here with Drew. Hey guys. And uh, today we're gonna be doing a trick tutorial that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. A lot of you who follow me know I have this kind of weird trick where I sling backwards and then do a quick roll low to the ground. And it's like a fakie slow roll. Right, like a fakie slow roll. We've been trying to come up with a name for it for the longest time now and we were in the car last night and we decided we should call it the Vanny Roll. I well, wait, I was kidding about that. No, I wasn't though, it caught. It, it was catchy to me. So uh, I like it. We're gonna go with the Vanny Roll. The Vanny Roll? Vanny Roll. So we're gonna be showing you guys today how to do a Vanny Roll. So if you don't know what a Vanny Roll is, pretend that the hood of Drew's truck is the ground. So what we're doing is we're don't flying- Don't scrape my hood. I'm, <laughs> come on, I only hit your car once. Jamie, come in the car, come in the car! Oh, we hit the car! This is the ground. We're taking the quad like this, we're flying along the ground, coming out of whatever trick we're doing. We're gonna yaw backwards like this. Shut up! <laughs> you're gonna yaw backwards just like this, so you're still going backwards like this, and then you do a roll. The whole goal to make it look like a vanny roll is when you exit the roll, you are literally skimming the ground going mm -hmm. backwards. Yeah. Juicy effect. I I'll give you, this is one of the tricks that when you do it, it's not about the trick itself, because I can very confidently fly backwards and do a roll. But when you do it, it's got this certain style to it where you, I don't know how you roll so slow and don't hit the ground while going backwards. It's all about energy management and timing. So you have to get enough energy going backwards when you start the trick. So you have to set yourself up for the actual uh -huh. roll properly. When you do that, then it's all about timing the roll. I use very low rates, so I am at no, you know, I have no choice but to basically slam the stick. And so for me, that's actually helped a lot. It's the same almost every what, time. What are your rates? If you use beta flight, all I do is take my super rate, drop it to 0. 0.6, and then take my expo on a roll pitch and yaw and put it at 0. 0.3. Those are the rates I use, and that's the rates I'm gonna be using. And also, I just like those rates in general. For right, but style. then there's a trade-off because if you wanna do those really, really right. fast, snappy things, you lose the ability to do that. And, and I, you don't yeah. do that. Right, and you'll see, I'll do a few different combinations of annual rolls today where I'm going backwards, I just do one roll, and then you've seen another one where I go backwards, I do one roll, and then I do the, the roll the opposite way. Mm -hmm. And it's just all about timing, and we're gonna show you guys how to do that today. Vanny rolls! Vanny rolls! <laughs> So we are flying the HD1 frame. We have the hype train. Your motors on here. The best motors. Because mine are out of stock. Because then of course the DJI system as you can see here. So we get that prime HD experience. Which actually looks really cool when you're doing these tricks because you can get low to the ground. You can see all the specks of grass and everything. It really mm -hmm. helps. It gives you that extra confidence level when you're doing a backwards trick or something to like know, okay, there's the ground. It's not staticky. It's not like I can't see it. Yeah. You can see everything. So Speaking of the system, something I've been going back and forth on is 16 by nine or four by three. What do you prefer? And like, do you think it affects, you know, this trick? What Ooh, do you that's use? That's a good question. Um, I prefer 16 by nine. I like the really big field of view. The DJI camera is a four by three camera. Okay. And so when you set the uh, when you set the goggles to display in 16 by nine, mm -hmm. it just crops the top oh, and bottom. Got it. So you do lose a little bit of that vertical field of view. Okay. So that's been the reason that I've stayed away from it, just because I I feel right. like I want to be able to see as much as possible. But then you don't. It's not as immersive because it's yep. not as wide. Yep. And uh, when I've actually flown other people's setups in 16 by nine. Mm -hmm. end up kind of liking it. So I just didn't know where you were at. Yeah, I like 60 mile. I don't think it gives an advantage or disadvantage. It's kind of like flying normal FPV goggles. I mean, where if like you can do this trick on the 16 by nine with the crop, then I don't know, you can't really argue against it. Cause no, like- absolutely. It's just the settings that I prefer. It's really immersive and I right. just kind of like that big. With HD, I want to see everything. I feel like it's more, much more immersive with the bigger field of view and everything. Or yeah. it feels like a bigger field of view rather. So yeah, that's the set we're flying. See, this makes me like the 16 by 9. Oh, first one. try, dude. These type of tricks that are like really timing based, I always kind of have to be warmed up. I was that. Oh, oh, oh. That's See, what I always do. Yeah, it's all about timing, getting kind of warmed up. That was a good one. That was. I feel like you do it even slower sometimes, though. Are these your rates? Uh, yeah, these are my rates. I'm not even hitting full stick yet. Coming in hot with a stick can. Yeah, and, and it's all about. Oh, that was it. Oh my gosh. What I'm listening for is what do you do with throttle right before you. Yeah, so let's kind of just try and think a little bit about it. So, yaw backwards and then quick. Yeah, it's just a quick it's little, little blip. blip. You can hear it. So, quick blip. Depending on how much rate you use will depend on how much throttle you need to give. If you have really low rate, you have to give it more throttle, so make sure that you don't hit the ground at the end of the trick. Mm -hmm. If you have really fast rates, 
you don't need that, as much throttle. Uh, One thing that I didn't really talk too much about when you were describing the trick is if your quad is not super well tuned, you can fly into prop wash very easily. Mm -hmm. So you almost kind of just want to float, do something that flows into the trick or exit the trick into another trick. So let me kind of show you what I mean with that. So, and see, I kind of flow into something else. Yeah, I really like how you're basically you link just that together. trying to fly out of prop wash is what I'm trying to do. I feel like you always do it in the more open area. What about doing it through something? So I, I feel like you've got good run up if you come this way, and then you could actually hit between those two trees. So okay. like, you go yeah. come past the truck, y'all backwards. Yeah, let's do it. I want to see it because I don't know if I've seen you really do it proxy. Oh, I've done it proxy. Like through things? Not as much though. I don't know if I ever posted a video of me doing it proxy because it's something I'm still trying to master a little bit. So we'll do a little bit of proxy. So we're flying. Oh, that was sick. Lower though, lower, lower, lower. Oh, I hate you. You shouldn't be able to do that first try. What? Ooh, there we go. That was another kind of way to enter a vanny roll that I didn't talk too much about. We were talking about how we kind of go backwards and do it like this and then do the roll. Uh -huh. One of the other ways I do the roll is like a little bit of a Rubik's Cube combination. So here we go. So we're going to front flip like this. We're skimming low. Oh, I like that. So let's try and do that. Oh, yeah, I do that something. one through the trees. This is going to be a bit trickier. It's a bit trickier to do. I think I don't like as much when you, the, you're like rolling and then you end up going forward again. You know what I mean? Rather than flowing out of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like that one, you just rolled back and forth until you started go, whoa! Like that, I like that yeah, way more where you, where you do a yaw flow out of it. I think when I see you do, you kind of come to a stop yep. and then start going forward. I don't like it as much. It kind of takes me out of that. I agree. Oh. Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> it's again, it takes, it takes you know, time. You're gonna mess it up a few times, but mm -hmm. if you know how to recover from it, then you're good. Let's try, let's go through a bit tighter of a gap. Let's try, let's try and go through this really tight gap and do it. Here comes the crash. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right. That was cool. It looks cool. I like, yeah. And I get what you're saying, where you basically flown in the next trick, and you saw me do that kind of an open space where I'd yaw into the next trick. Yeah, in the in um, the open field, you were always doing, you'd come out of it and then just, and then just flow right into the next. Any of you guys that have been flying for a while, if you go out and try this, you will probably do the trick your first day trying it. Yeah. But it's not gonna look as good as what he's doing. I love that trick. It's just so much fun slinging yourself backwards really quick and doing I roll. can't do it the way you do it. I well, want to try I want to see you try and do it. I want the point overs from the man himself. All right, let's go get the quad. Let's see uh, Drusif take a turn at it. Oh, I didn't even hear the other beeps. The flight controller's dead. Here we go, we're taking a stick. We are going to fix the quad with nature as our friend. Oh, she dead. Yeah. Oh, hobbling is going in it anyway. Yeah. Dude, what are these settings, man? Uh, it's fine. This is what Johnny it's does. Fine. This is how Johnny's so good. You're locking white, but why bother? Because it makes it look better. Look at how much more prime it's that gonna looks. It's going to be overexposed. No, it's not going to be overexposed. It's going to have that sweet motion blur. Make you look juicy. I know what I'm doing. I think Master Flow did 16K on Drew's side and Art of Flow did 41K. Did it really get 41K? This let me tell you, okay? We were talking about <laughs> video titles because, because like the kind of, the, the very confident titles were all the rage. And I'm like, ooh, I've got my perfect title. It's going to be Master of Flow. And Alex is like, oh, I'm going to use that tonight. I was like, don't you take my title. had the video. Don't you take my title. And he, last minute, he's like, Art of Flow. No, no, and no. Then, you posted your video first. The moment I saw him post his video, I posted my video titled The Art of Flow. Just, I'm like, which one's going to do better? It was very blessed. I did 41k thanks to you guys um because it was it was a good video though yours was great too but no it was okay no, no you're being very nice it was not my best video it, it wasn't your, it was kind it was of a waste good. of a good it. title but i just really wanted to use that title you don't want me yeah before it looks kind of like yeah dumb. i was i, was I liked out. it that you took that title from me because i took it from you because i, I said I, it first oh it's cool this is four by three yeah so you see what i see I can at least see it this is like almost a good comparison to yeah Yep. You just yaw around. Like that, that was good. It's so high though. Yours just have that je ne sais quoi. I don't know what else to say. Try and get more momentum. Yeah, like. Oh God, oh God, no, 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 no. Okay. Ah. Ah. Try and uh, get more backwards momentum going. I think that's a big part of it is you go way faster. Well, I enter it faster. Part of that's kind of just because of my racing. That was a good one. Yeah. I, no, dude, I'm ending so much higher. It just, it, they're not as good as yours, for sure. So I think, you know what, it's just a matter of rolling slower. Yep. So y'all around, blip. 
So you're kind there. of putting, Oh, that was almost it. That was almost it. Yeah, you're kind of, I don't know how to describe <clears> it. When, <throat> you, when you're when you going backwards and you start the roll, you're almost like really high, like nose down, if that makes sense, versus you should be almost literally skimming the ground when you're going backwards and then do the roll. I'm not trying to like, when I get backwards, keep uh -huh. it going backwards. It's just you, you kind of just juicy into it like this. So you got a lot of backwards momentum and then you want to do the roll somewhat quickly because what ended up happening just then is you started the roll, but you almost had no momentum and you kind of just carried yourself into the ground. All right, wait, let me get, look at that quad. So. I actually feel like I'm learning something here. There you go, nice. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a fire. Both of the quads we flew today are not on the stack that we normally fly, which that's is the hobby, hobby wing, wing stack. And, and to be clear, that's the stack that we're not just running for the show. Like, that's the stack that I run in all my personal rigs for racing, and I put a ton of abuse through. Yeah, and I mean, I like trying die. new things, but then when it catches on fire, I'm like, you know, it wasn't go that back to the hobby wing. And that is the stack that is going to be featured in a build video that we have coming Ooh. out very soon. So check that out. if you are wanting to see <laughs> how we put together one of these Rotorite HD1 quads with the DJI system and everything. We're testing all the stuff and blowing the stuff up. So, so you don't have to. You don't have to. No, I mean, know. seriously, the, <laughs> yeah. the things that were, you don't find on the store. Yeah if this stuff is happening. Yep. We, we have a more limited selection right now because we test every single thing. Yeah. Make sure that we put it through the ringer before we yeah. you know, want to sell it to you guys because yeah. um, we don't want things catching on fire. No, yeah. not really. Both yeah. of our stuff shorted out today, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to yeah. rebuild some quads. So we're gonna watch the build video and let's go build some quads Woo. and let's get back out here on the field. All right, we have fixed our quads, we're back out. I want some more lessons in doing Vanny rolls. So, what is the problem with saying Vanny Roll? <laughs> it's a good name. So I'm glad we ended up having some time because it gave me time to think about all the tips you were telling me. I've kind of been trying to let it sink in. Rolling slow, I think, is what I've been struggling with most. I'm really just trying to force myself to do the slow roll. So just y'all around, roll slow. Oh no, I still end up yaw. so high. You don't really need to use yaw. It's more. I almost do, I only use yaw to turn it around. I, wait, I used yaw when I was rolling? Yeah, you used oh, the opposite was an yaw. Ooh, okay. Oh, yes, that is a habit I have. Yep. Which That's is nice because you get that you get that coordinated right. look. And you can do that going backwards. Because if yaw. you don't use yaw, then you like you look more at the ground right. when you yaw. So. It just depends on how you want it to look, but if you use a lot of yaw, it makes it a All bit right. harder to stay I'll low. try and just not do it. So Here we go. Boom. boom. That was Why? Bad. You, you need just, to enter it with more momentum. Try so entering with more, more momentum. More speed, like more just faster. A, it's just a bit more speed entering it, and then yaw, yaw, and then roll. Ooh, that was almost there. It's so difficult to match someone else's style. You're kind of swinging high. I feel like you almost need to yaw. Uh, what's Daddy, wrong with two? I like two straps. You're what's wrong with this? this? Look at this. When your XC60 comes out like this with a zip tie. Your battery goes I like, right here. I like my way of two no, no, straps. I'm not done I feel talking. extra secure. I'm not done talking. I feel extra secure with I'm two straps. Talking. You don't want straps to be popping. Have a whole thing. You don't want the batteries. Listen. I, just want one I feel like you're not yawing quick enough, roll. almost. And when you yaw, you're going up high and you're slowing down. If that makes sense. I feel like you need to try and carry the momentum when you do the yaw, like that. That was it. Oh. There you go. That, that was, was good... that was. That, that was, was really it. close to what you do. Not as good, I think, but that's just. But you that got was it. Now pretty you can dang it. close, man. I want to see one more. That was good to watch. There you go. You're kind of, but you're feeling out what you have to do. I, you know what? I'm already kind of feeling like what you need. What I want to do it now my way. You know, like I've kind of already seen like how I kind of want to just tweak it a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like I kind of, Oh, I love that trick now. Oh, I'm so psyched on that now. It just kind of like clicked with how to keep it lower. Yeah, absolutely. That's better? No, I yeah, chickened out and had to you're fast getting, roll to save it. You're getting the entry a bit more down. It there. was all about yaw sooner. Whoa! That one Damn. was almost beautiful. That was That's so like close. the best ones when you're skimming the ground. Right. Coming backwards like that. That's the best one where you can see the grass like. Right. Your battery you know, ejected. I feel like I'm really starting it. to get it, dude. So no. that, that helped. And I do think taking the time even though it was kind of annoying that we had to pause at the time i think it ended up like yeah. letting it sink in and i think that's a good tip like when you're trying to learn something yep. if 
if you're kind of stuck on one thing, Take a taking break. a break is good because it like, there's kind of that theory that if you practice something, then you go to sleep, you'll wake up better at it, you know? Yeah. Like your brain has to kind of like, Yeah, I don't know. absolutely. And watching, you know, like videos of people doing, when I was learning like the juicy style flying, I just watched a lot of Johnny flying. I let that sink mm -hmm. into where my mind naturally went to that and it was just natural to do it almost. It's it's one of those things, don't expect, you may get it immediately, you may not, just let it sink in, sleep on it. In, the, in this case for you, it was entering and so you had enough backwards momentum because what ended up happening is you do the roll and you were stopped. Yeah. So you entered the that one time I told you more momentum and yaw quicker, you had it perfect. I feel like when you're learning something, there's always one piece of a trick that you get stuck up on. Yep. And I was surprised for me it was I needed to yaw into it faster. And I think now what I want to work on getting better at is do the fast yaw, let yep. it ride back for a little longer before I do roll. it, then do the roll, and then after doing the roll, catch it and ride it back again. Because what I'm still doing is I do the roll, and then as soon as I come out of the roll, I instantly like flow yaw into the next yeah. thing, which is nice, Yep. but I think toward the end there, I start to be like, okay, after I do that, how much longer can I ride it out? And that's what I want to try yep, and do. Yeah, center of the momentum, so. Yeah. Sweet, man, I'm really happy to see you do it. Maybe well, we'll okay, we've got, got a little bit more golden hour left. We're gonna try and fly. Thank you, DJI, for sponsoring this episode. Yeah, guys, and be sure to go check out the Rotorite store. Link in the description to the HD ones that we're flying, the gear that we're using, guys. And uh, you know what? Comment down below what you think this trick should be called. I personally like Vanny Roll. If you're gonna hate on it, you better have a better name for it. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Hope you guys. What's it called? It's called the Vanny Roll. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, guys, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. The art you, of flow versus master of flow. I am the master Says of flow. Says 16,000 views versus 41,000. I'm higher than that has, now. Hold on, let me no, check this. Oh, you might. Oh, I'm sure I'm higher too on my tell views. You. I can't talk about trash because you have more views on your videos than I do, but per capita and per like how long per I've been capita. doing YouTube, I think I'm doing pretty per good. 21,000 views for Whoa. the record. Oh, you son of a